Good afternoon. Would everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Again, good afternoon. My name is Hala Malik. As a proud student of the class of 2023, it is my honor to welcome you to the Crofton High School. Now, it is also my honor to introduce our AACPS awesome principal, Mrs. Fearheard. Thank you, Hala. Hello, everyone. I cannot tell you how many times over the last two years that I've dreamed of this day. Now, of course, I did not dream of a pandemic disrupting our lives and the inaugural year of our school operations. However, the overwhelming resilient way that our students, staff, and school community made our first year a soaring success goes beyond my wildest dreams. I have a lot of appreciation to show during this program, but for now, I would like to thank you all because you've shown that no matter the circumstance, together cards fly. Right now, I'd like to introduce our special guests who have come to help us celebrate. From the Anne Arundel County Board of Education, Vice President Dana Shawhan. <laughs> Board Member Michelle Corcadell. <laughs> Board Member Bumi Omisori. <laughs> Board Member Robert Silkworth. <laughs> and from Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. George Arlotto and Deputy Superintendent Monique Jackson. And our state elected officials, Senator Ed Riley, Delegate Hoseline Pena Melnick, Delegate Mike Rogers, Delegate Heather Bagnall, Delegate Mary Lehman, and Delegate Mike Malone. And our county elected officials, County Executive Stuart Pittman, Councilwoman Jessica Hare, Councilwoman Allison Pickard, and County Councilman Andrew Prusky. And from the Maryland Interagency Committee on School Construction, representing Governor Larry Hogan, Alex Donahue. And other guests, former Board of Education member Julie Hummer. And former County Councilman Jerry Walker. I'd also like to welcome the many members of the Anne Arundel County Public Schools executive team and senior staff who are here to celebrate with us today especially Regional Assistant Superintendent for the Crofton Cluster, Chris Truffer. Thank you, Mr. Truffer, for your leadership and guidance. Your other schools may beg to differ, but you are truly a Crofton Cardinal. And now that we, they have been introduced, some of our special guests will bring remarks. Hello, my name is Jordan Mueller. Please, welcome, please join me in welcoming to the podium Board of Education member for District 4, Michelle Corcadell. Good afternoon and welcome. I am so excited to be here as all of you are. And this is um, one of those moments where um, I, uh, I was thinking about what should I be saying. There's so much to say, yet as we sit in these, uh, this auditorium, which is just outstanding from the minute you walk in until the minute you are seated, not a lot to say. The building speaks for itself. So I wanna speak a little bit about what it took to get here. And uh, 25 years ago, I moved here. And I remember looking at houses between Edgewater, where I live, and the Crofton area. And it was always described to me when I was in Edgewater that the students that live in Crofton are only there for a short period of time. 
And when I was here in Crofton, there was a lot of excitement about a new high school that was just around the bend. But as the years went by, and I started to get more and more civically engaged in my community and in my, child's, my children's education, I came to realize that, well, I don't know what everybody's definition of a short period of time is, but that, that definitely wasn't mine. And so working collaboratively in the background, indirectly and directly, with so many great folks over the years. And what got here is kind of similar to what you always hear Einstein quoted as. The definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again. And I remember getting to a precipice point and sitting there with Mr. Boniface, Bill Crofton High School president, and his folks, and we were sitting in the diner across the street, so to speak, and I said, he's like, what is it going to take? And I said, someone needs to think outside of the box and do something different. And sure enough, between our leadership here and the leadership at the state, at all levels, everybody just started thinking different, and magic happened. Magical um, relationships were born, and where common ground wasn't, is now found. And so here we are. At the groundbreaking, we talked about all of the people who made it happen, who made the funding happen, who got us to that moment in time. And now we're here, and it means everything to us, but yet it means nothing still. And what do I mean by that? That's a, phrase, that's a weird quote that we hear a lot. It means everything as a testament to all the hard work we have done but it's going to be us and our community that is going to make it something for us and for our community. So I would encourage those who spent all of the hard work and effort in rolling up the sleeves, Councilman Walker and our former um, elected officials in the area, our current one, Senator Riley's been in the, in the game since probably before he was a council, <laughs> councilman, right? <laughs> Um, with council, former Councilman Paco. So um, a lot of sweat equity has gone in here, but it's going to be up to us to make it our community school. And we are so, I, I, I'm so jazzed and excited. Your principal here is a rock star. And why do I know that? Because she's been a rock star working so hard for District 7 for so many years. And now she brought all that talent and all that skill and all that experience to bring us our community's high school. Throughout the entire time, I have worked hard to make sure that your name for your high school, that your mascot, that your signature is imprinted into this school. And so here we are, not able to start like every other school has, and hopefully any other school would. Um, but we still persevered. The doors did open. We weren't able to do a formal ribbon cutting, but the doors did open. And so I'm so excited that now the doors are open to everyone in the community. It started with our graduations, and now it's matriculating to our first day of school next week. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I've got a senior this year, not going here, um, and I know in a few short years we're going to have a senior. So congratulations to you, the community. Congratulations to you, the staff, the contractors who made this happen, and our leadership. It is so greatly appreciated. And um, there's one other representative uh, on the school board for this high school, President Ellis. She grew up here in Crofton, and she was very disheartened to not be able to be here. So on behalf of President Ellis, I want to congratulate all of you and we look forward to making magic happen in these halls with our students and making education the priority that Crofton has always elevated it to. Thank you all. Thank you, Ms. Corvidal. My name is Corinne Green, and now our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. George Arlotto, will come forward for some remarks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is quite the who's who of Anne Arundel County. So we are delighted that you're here for our now a year late ribbon cutting to open this fabulous school. Um, there's no doubt you've already begun to hear and you're gonna hear from others about the time it took to bring this to fruition, this project. Um, I could tell you my own stories of 
breakfast at the diner with Mr. Boniface and then Council Member Walker to be, um, when I arrived here in this district 15 years ago, um, and, and that was the talk. So you're gonna hear more of that. What I wanna do is just take a couple of quick minutes just to say thank you. I need to thank this group, members of this board and past boards, members of this council and this county executive, as well as past county executive and past council members, um, members of our delegation, um, you help make this happen. We don't get a chance to build schools without you. And this is a prime example of the good work that we do in Anne Arundel County, which leads me to thank our team, uh, Kyle and Lisa and Alex Shaknovich and their construction facilities team who've done a phenomenal job on each and every one of our schools. I got the chance, I was at Tyler Heights, um, uh, not Tyler, I was at Edgewater earlier today. I don't really, really where I've been already. But I was at, at another school visiting and likewise the new construction is fantastic. So you all have done an incredible job. Thank you to Mr. Truffer. Mr. Truffer continues to lead the way in each one of his clusters. And when we charged him with helping build, um, choosing a principal and helping build a new high school from ground up, uh, he took that on readily. Building a high school and then staffing and outfitting a high school, I hope you can imagine, is unlike any other school building. Um, you don't have to buy football helmets for an elementary school. Um, and so all of those pieces that are in place at a high school um, are very intricate. And so thank you to Mr. Truffer, but most importantly, thank you to Ms. Fjordherd and your leadership. We charged you with building the first high school from ground up in 35 years in Anne Arundel County, and you've done a phenomenal job, certainly with this asset, with this building itself, but you began to bring the students together. You began to, you built a staff, and what we see when we walk in these doors is relationships. This is a school about relationships, and that starts with your leadership, and I thank you for that. So we're delighted you're here. I can't wait for you to take a walk through the building and see this entire structure because it is phenomenal. But more importantly, I can't wait for you to see the future of the cards, right? This is a place that is going to soar. We've got an amazing group of students with fantastic leadership and a staff that cares deeply about this community. We are so thankful you're here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Arlotta. My name is Tommy Bell, and on behalf of our state legislators, I'd like to ask Senator Big Ed Riley to say a, big, to say a few words. For 20 years as a legislator, I tried to figure out what would I say when I got here. We all have stories, some good, some bad, some ugly, and we're going to let them sit for a while. But we want to recognize some folks. I have a, a story about two people current and two people past. I am convinced this school has been built because of the desire of one county executive to get it going and one county executive to finish it. Steve Shu and Mr. Pittman, we owe you a great debt. Thank you. Now, now I'm going to talk to the kids. There's a traffic light on 424 that marks the, the uh, faculty and student entrance into the school. And what's it called? Ed Dosick Way. Who is Ed Dosick? And there's a baseball field across the way here. It's named after someone. Who's it named after? Dave Espy. Now why, why have we memorialized these two Croftonians? Well, I moved here 45 years ago, and they were in these fields all around Crofton and back of the elementary schools, coaching and molding and developing young people. Ed Dosick, retired Brigadier General. That was his part-time job. His real job was to run Crofton as best he could with his uh, military experience. And um, he's not with us. He's buried at Arlington. I went to his funeral, a very appropriate one for a Brigadier General. But the most important thing both of these gentlemen had was a love of kids and recognizing that sports was a tool to teach maturity, discipline, teamwork. So as you look at these two names, I want you to share the story. 
Um, Dosick grew up in, um, in the Midwest, Des Moines, Iowa. And as a young parent, he coached youth football. And when he brought that skill to Crofton, he was an invaluable person because we were all brand new. When Crofton started 54 years ago, we looked for people like that who had experience in working with kids. And of all the things that Crofton is best known for, it's the great kids that we've produced. And Dave Espy grew up in Kentucky. He was a Kentucky State Trooper. And he was a minor league baseball player that went all through the mid-America playing baseball as a young man. And again, when he came to this area, he used his skills. He gave back. He donated his time, his leadership. And both of these gentlemen were critical in making sure that the Crofton Athletic Councils were growing, that the uh, athletic field down on 424 was built. And over the years, we're going to recognize people like Arlotto and Pittman and, and Steve Shu and others who constantly give back, because that's what we're called to do. We're called to do the best we can. So for you kids, it's a great place. Have a great time. And Dr. Olato, you and your team, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Riley. My name is Rachel Mohammed, and it is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, County Executive Stuart Pittman. Well, it's the first school in almost 40 years, right? In Anne Arundel County, first high school built. Not the first school. First high school, new high school built. Um, I think it's probably the only and hopefully the last high school that has its ribbon cutting a year after it opens. And it's unfortunate that this isn't the kind of ribbon cutting where large numbers of people could come, because I think if this were last year and folks hadn't seen this place yet, this place would be, would be packed today and there would be an energy in the room that um, would be pretty overwhelming and I would be thanking them for all the hard work that they did, um, particularly Jonathan Boniface, Councilman Walker and, and all of the Bill Crofton, uh, Bill Crofton High crowd um, that did the hard work. It's, um, but I also, I feel like I have to thank one group that hasn't been thanked yet. I wanna, you know, I agree with everybody that's been thanked, especially the team who, who builds this stuff, Alex and his folks, but the taxpayers. And these things are expensive. And every time that we wanna build one, it's a real conversation with the taxpayers, and, and uh, we're building more. So I may be up here when really Steve Shue ought to be. Uh, I won't be probably at the ones that we're working on right now, unfortunately, for the uh, maybe the groundbreaking, but not the ribbon cutting. But some places actually have elections for referendums on whether to tax folks for schools. We don't do that. Um, you know, we who are elected have to have to make those decisions, and we actually did a one-tenth of one percent tax increase for permanent public infrastructure, and this is infrastructure. And to me, that's really um, the forward-looking work that we don't get credit for in the moment, and that's okay. We get blamed for the taxes, but we have to do it. We really have to do it. Um, our kids, our education system, our school system is fantastic, and, and this is the icing on the cake. We start in kindergarten, we start in pre-kindergarten. In fact, we're having our opportunity gap um, task force first meeting tomorrow, and I'm going to be laying out a goal for kindergarten readiness. Um, that's the part that county government can really help with. Um, but I'm just so proud that, that um, we have such a great system in this county and uh, such a fantastic, fantastic high school. Um, and uh, I think I need to get my Cardinals hat and um, come out and uh, watch some games and start rooting for y'all. So thank you for everything. And I have a citation here. I don't think I need to read it. It's one of these citations, but I hope you'll put it up on the wall somewhere and, and uh, accept our thanks. As I mentioned before, I have many, many people I would like to thank for making our dreams of opening Crofton High School finally a reality. Those people undoubtedly include the many community members who came together to form Build Crofton High School. I'd like to welcome a few representatives from that group who are here celebrating with us today. Jonathan Boniface, Marissa Holden, Shannon Highland, Christy Bruner, and Jerry Walker. Thank you. You know, there is nothing quite like not only opening a brand new school, but actually starting a new school. When I was named to this position, I was excited, but there was certainly a lot of unknowns even before the pandemic. 
While I sought to be a confident leader from the start, I certainly would not have been successful without our amazing staff. As they were hired, our educators bought into the cardinal way, coming together to build a strong unit and foundation amongst each other so that our students could stand strong from day one. I am so proud to work with each of you. Thank you for all that you have done and do for our students. I also wanted to acknowledge Chief Operating Officer for Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Alex Chaknovich, Facilities Director Lisa Seaman Crawford, Project Managers Eric Schuster and Chris Schwartz, and the entire AACPS Facilities Division for their help guiding my steps for this unique project. I also want to recognize the impeccable work of the teams at Price Modern and Duron Furniture, the architects, GWWL, and general contractors at Jacobs for providing the vision and precision that is this building that is just as functional as it is beautiful. Next, I would like to thank our custodial staff, facilities engineer Donald Rankin, chief custodian Delante Branch, and the rest of our facilities staff, Devon Thomas, Gregory Harris, Justin Palmer, DePaula Proctor, Maria Benitez, Mirna, Mirna Granados Velasquez, Tony Powell, and Michael Shepard, who have all demonstrated unwavering dedication to their duties, and it shows from every immaculate corner of our building. And to the best front office staff at AACPS, Kathy Jost, Brandy DeBrock, Natasha Freeman, Jennifer Powell, and Jennifer Thompson, thank you for taking care of all of us, every student, every staff member, every parent, and every community member. To the students of Crofton High School, you stepped up in ways and have shown me that I too am still learning. You are true trailblazers, and I'm proud to be on this journey with you. I promise that our Cardinal family will do everything to help each of you fulfill your special destinies. And finally, I really want to thank my family for your constant support. Your patience and love empowered me to seek this unusual path, and I'm so glad that I did. So now it's time to cut the ribbon. Dignitaries and designated students, please come forward. All right, so on three, we're gonna say, don't cut yet. <laughs> on three, one, two, three, together cards fly. So on three, cut, and then together cards fly. Sound good? All right, one, two, three. Together cards fly.